Now we're going to talk about ground. Now this is definitely the most misused uh, terminology out there. Ground is the earth. We usually call it earth ground. It's not neutral. It is connected to neutral. When I showed you a neutral in that uh, transformer, that neutral could be connected to ground. Could be actually connected to a ground rod in the ground. But it didn't have to be. It will work normally without it being connected to ground. Ground, what we use the term ground for is chassis ground. Remember I talked about chassis before. If for some reason you got one of the hot leads uh, from your uh, power source and it touched the chassis of a piece of equipment, say an air conditioner, and you touch the chassis of that air conditioner, then you would get a shock. Now that electrical power that is going through you, now I'm not necessarily going to get a shock, you have to have some sort of connection to earth ground to do this, or neutral. But when you touch that hot uh, piece of equipment that doesn't have a ground on it, then power will go through you and if there's a good enough connection through your feet or a hand or something like that, it will pass to the earth ground, go through earth ground and go to neutral and complete the circuit. That is when you get a shock. Now you don't need a whole lot of amperage through there to get you know a lethal shock so it's Earth ground has a lot of resistance. It's not a, it's not a slam dunk as in just just a circuit. In fact, I could stand there, touch a hot lead, touch a very good ground. You know, be standing in a pool of salt water, and I could be electrocuted, but the circuit protection would never kick off because there's not that much power going through my body. So ground has high resistance. Uh, the ground and the neutral in the electrical system in the U.S. are connected together at the main panel. They're also connected together at some of the power poles. Now I don't deal too much in power poles so I, I don't want to talk too much about them. I want to deal only in the secondary coming off the pole. But we ground, earth ground, uh, the chassis of equipment, the neutral bar in the panel because of spikes and lightning. That's really the only reason the ground's there at all. It's not for circuit protection because it doesn't work for that. But let's say lightning struck uh, the pole. Well that would transfer through the transformer come into the structure and it could uh, destroy electrical components in the structure. If we ground, put an earth ground, then the lightning, which really all I want to do is get to ground anyway, that's what it was doing. It was a buildup of positive and negative in the clouds and in the ground and when it got high enough, the lightning happened. Well, if it hits a pole, then it's got an easy uh, low resistance uh, path to the earth ground. So it just goes to the earth ground. If it didn't have that, it would go through all the equipment in the house and destroy all sorts of things. It still sometimes does. It's not perfect by any means. But that ground has no function in the circuit, in the, low volt, or in the 120 volt circuit that we use in the U.S. It has no function there. The neutral is the other side of line. So when you, you're operating equipment, the neutral is the other half of the power. As I said with commons, and you know everybody gets all these things mixed up, common is usually the unswitched side. Well, 
neutral is usually the unswitched side in the 120 volt circuits. Now, the 240 or the 208 circuit does not have a connection to neutral. It, it has a ground, like a chassis ground on the equipment, but it does, does not have a connection to neutral. So it goes from one side of line to the other side of line, and of course it double the voltage. But that ground, which seems to be so misused by everyone, everyone seems to think it's a one side of line or something like that. It has nothing to do with that, and the system will work fine without it. I can take the ground rods out of any of my equipment, the silly thing will work wonderfully. But it does protect us when we have lightning or other spikes that come through the line that are just kind of odd spikes in the light. So that's what ground is. Now I've went through these three things. Common, again, is just one side of a circuit. And it's usually the one we don't switch. And it is commonly hooked to an earth ground to bleed off any spikes, etc. The neutral is just the center point of the transformer. See, I've got a, let's say, a pole transformer, 240 volts, line to line, 120 volts from either line to the center tap, which is the neutral. That's all that is. And that's where we get our uh, circuit protection kicking off. If for some reason I had a hot lead touch the chassis of a piece of equipment and the chassis was grounded and connected to the neutral at the main panel, then the power will pass through uh, that ground wire and go back to the neutral at the uh, panel and it'll kick it off. Circuit protection will open and make the circuit circuit safe. Uh, the ground, as I've said several times, the ground is simply a place for spikes, errant currents, and lightning to discharge into as essentially a sink, a catch-all. I hope this makes sense. Uh, I know these concepts are really kind of hard to understand. I have done a number of videos on this thing. Uh, I will reference the the uh, uh, the grounding videos I've done and some of the others that explain the three wire system. All these I'm going to put up uh, links to here right quick. So that's it. Hope it helps.